Hello, my friends. My name is Max Goblinski, and today I try to paint with you the figure of a lady with a knife and like every time we try to paint fast, nice and loose. And for not losing too much time I prepared already the canvas. Our lady will be standing on a shoreline of a river or a lake just to have a nice painting, not only of a lady but also of a nice surround man. And we start with painting the main colors. She will wear a nice hat, sunny colors, and we start to paint the base colors first where the hat will be. Same, of course, for the figure of Our Lady. She will look very graceful to a side. And first we sketch more or less with the base color our figure in space. And don't forget to use your magic stick named finger. It will help you to make smooth, to smooth the paint out and to correct small mistakes. And our lady will wear a blue-gray dress. And we are painting a summer scene or a spring scene. So the dress is more a summer dress. We see just the straps. Second arm. And now we got the main sketch of our lady. And we can start to define her more and more with the help of our brush. We start with the shadow parts. Light is coming from the left side. Normally I start with the light coming from the left corner, upper corner, because it, it's not because in nature it is always coming from that side and that it has to be like this, but uh, it is easier for the camera people and also for you to see that shadow side. Also a little bit on a waist. The lighter part, we give more light. We even can show a lag. Why the legs in art are becoming narrower to the bottom? Because all girls and ladies like to walk like models and they walk like on one line. That's why we are getting narrower the more down we come. And to show the step the lady is doing, the frontal leg, we give more light. So the shadow side. We darken a little bit, and the shadows we even darken more by using the knife. Working with knife is really a challenge because we are waiting to match the right color. And don't forget to use your finger. Knife is a kind of a tool. If you are able to use it, you can solve a lot of problems by painting your paintings. 
How to hold it? If you hold it this way, nothing will happen. If you hold it this way, you only will get big holes in your canvas. So hold it very lightly between your fingers like this, and it will become your friend and help you to solve a lot of challenges you have in your painting. Work with very light pressure. So our lady needs also some hairs. I will give her a kind of brown hair. And of course, we have to show more the light reflecting on the brim of the head, because that will help us to tell the people that it is a sunny day, and the head is catching the sunshine. And really use paint, thick paint. Also the shoulder is reflecting light, and the second arm. And in the very complicated parts, we can use also the brush. Maybe the dress is catching a shadow. And to bring the figure more into the foreground and to underline it, we use dark paint in the background behind the light side. This way we get the figure more into the foreground and we have a possibility to correct the shape if we went out of shape with our figure. The same we do with the head and with the direction of the arm. Maybe she is holding in the hand part of her dress, then we indicate that here already a little bit. In the background we just do very loose. And as far as we mentioned that our lady will stand on the shoreline of water, we have to indicate also our river and water almost every time has a kind of horizontal surface, so we follow the horizontal surface with the base color. Here and there the light is hitting the water. And all the time we are thinking about a kind of a story. The more our fantasy is working, the, the better painting will come out. And all the time use thick paint. It's better to have more, more paint on the canvas than not enough. So the water line. <coughs> and now we can continue with the dark color in the background. 
We paint the whole painting at once. We don't focus just on the figure, but the whole painting together is developing. And maybe our lady is walking through field or grass. And the more we come into the foreground, the bigger the grass becomes. And it's getting bigger and bigger the more we come into the foreground. And we will paint a little bit grass on top of her feet, and we don't have to take care of her feet. And she's getting more three-dimensional. And then, with a knife, we take a lot of color and just dab it into the canvas. Not thinking too much about what we do, but thick paint to indicate the grass. The only thing you don't have to forget is that you need darks and lights to show shadows and depths. And don't do it too even. And the thickest paint is concentrating close to our lady, because this way we lead the eye of the viewer to our eye-catcher, the lady. And again, try to play. Don't see any difficult in it. And think too much about Just think about like uh, playing. And maybe we have some more bushes and trees in the background. But again, don't define them too much. Just indicate the eye, the human eye will see what you don't paint. The viewer will fill in himself. And to get this light area of the river into the indication of water, we need to break it by some horizontal lines, some horizontal strokes, indicate some small waves. Just horizontal strokes to break this equal area. Also, we can define the shoreline, can paint in some reflections into the water. Try to paint if, like if you will tell somebody a story, either to yourself, either to your neighbor, a friend, kids, grandchildren. And then your painting will get a life, because it gets a sense. A little bit more darks and lights. Sun is striking the hand and nice color for the dress she's holding there. So, and from the right side, we have to underline the figure a little bit. From left, we did it with. 
Shadow. On, so from the right side, we do it with light, a little bit more light. And on a palette, you need to have every time more paint than you think you need. Just a little bit more. Don't try to save on on paint. Little shadow underneath the chin to show her face a little bit, not uh, parts of the face, but just the face. A little light from the side, for example, and a little more light on the second arm. This way we also give the arm a kind of direction. We also can define a little more the second arm to make our lady more elegant looking. For example, we just cut it off with a knife. And what we can also do is to add some small flowers. Color is nice in oil painting everywhere. Maybe some blue flowers, some red flowers. It could be that it's end of spring, starting of summer, so a lot of flowers are blooming. And just dots of thick paint. This kind of technique or the subject of <laughs> indicated flowers, Monet laughed a lot. And almost in every painting of him you can find that. And it looks still nice. I personally think that if you just have the wish and give a little try to the work with a knife, then you can come to a higher level of oil painting, giving your paintings a different look and more space for interpretation. And if you want to, of course you can add more to the, this painting, but don't forget to keep the loose approach. In that way you get a very nice painting, which every time you look at it will give you something new to discover, because nothing is really defined. And every time in a spot where thick paint is, you will find something new you haven't remarked before. And that's what high fine art is about. I hope you liked the demonstration which I did today. And that it was helpful for you and I hope I see you back next time. Bye bye, all the best.